In this video, I'm reviewing the Redux Professional Hearing Aid Dehydration System to see if it is really the best way to save your hearing aids from water damage. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. So what's your plan if you accidentally get into the shower or jump into the pool when you're wearing your hearing aids? Is your plan to take a hair dryer and see if you can dry off those devices the best that you can? Or maybe you're the type of person that likes to stick your electronic devices inside of rice to see if that rice will magically absorb all of that moisture out of your devices. Well, some cell phone stores have actually been using a professional dehydration system from a company named Redux that is designed to remove 100% of moisture from your your cell phone or your tablet. And this same technology has been repurposed for hearing aids. Moisture is one of the leading causes of hearing aid malfunctions. And even though hearing aid manufacturers are doing a much better job of making their devices more moisture resistant, there is still no such thing as a waterproof hearing aid. So when Redux reached out to me asking me to review their professional hearing aid dehydration system, I jumped on the opportunity. And after using their system in my clinic for the past several months, I'm finally ready to let you know what I think. But before I do that, let me explain why moisture is so bad for hearing aids. All it takes is a half microliter of water, which is one one hundredth of a drop of water, in order to reduce the amplification levels of a hearing aid by up to 30 decibels. Consistent moisture exposure can also cause corrosion inside of a hearing aid, and it can even cause static or distortion with the hearing aid, meaning that the hearing aid will still function, it just won't be giving you clean sound. All right, so now that you know just how bad moisture is for your hearing aids, let me go ahead and give you my first impressions of the Redux system, which is what I'm holding in my hands right now. The first thing is it is a pretty large unit and it's pretty heavy. So this is something that you're not going to be using at home. This is a commercial grade device that you will find inside of a hearing care provider's office. It has to be large enough and durable enough to run a bunch of hearing aids through here day after day, year after year. And inside of it, you have your drying chamber. Inside of the drying chamber, it has to be able to create a vacuum, which means they're extracting a bunch of air outside of that chamber and you have to have a pretty hefty device to be able to do that. Let me explain how all of this works. First, you initiate a drying session on a computer that is wirelessly connected to the Redux. Then you place a hearing aid into the drying chamber. When you start the drying process, the Redux pulls air out of the drying chamber, creating a vacuum, which actually reduces the boiling point of water from 212 degrees Fahrenheit to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. It safely heats up the chamber to cause evaporation, and then replaces the air in the chamber with fresh dry air, measuring the humidity levels in the extracted air to determine when drying is complete and it actually gives us a measurement of how many microliters of moisture were removed from the hearing aid. To give you a little more context on how much a microliter of moisture is, here is a size comparison between a half microliter, one microliter, and 10 microliters. We are not talking about a ton of water here, but to put this in proper context, just one microliter of moisture inside of a typical hearing aid is roughly the equivalent of three bathtubs of water dumped on the floor of your house, which anyone would agree is a lot of water. Now all of this science stuff is great, but how well does the Redux drying system actually work? Well, my first experiment that I wanted to run with the Redux dehydrator was to take a paper towel, get it wet, stick it in the dehydrator, and see how well the dehydrator was able to remove the moisture. And I kid you not, the paper towel was drier when it came out of the Redux dehydrator than the paper towel was before I got it wet. As crazy and exciting as that is, we don't really care about removing water from paper towels. We care about removing water from hearing aids. So to test how well the Redux removes moisture from hearing aids, I conducted a little experiment to see if the Redux could revive a hearing aid submerged in a glass of water until it stopped working to the same level of performance prior to its exposure to water. 
And sure enough, the Redux system was able to bring a hearing aid back from the dead and the pre and post test box diagnostic measures were virtually identical, illustrating just how effective the Redux system is at removing moisture from a hearing aid and getting it working again just like it was before being exposed to water. There is no doubt in my mind that the Redux dehydration system pulls every last speck of moisture out of a hearing aid, and it does all of this in about 12 minutes. This means that it is significantly more effective and quicker than any at-home dehydrator, and it is definitely better than sticking your hearing aids in rice, which, by the way, has never been scientifically proven to actually remove moisture from electronic devices. My excitement doesn't stop there, because the Redux system allows me to measure exactly how much moisture is being pulled out of a hearing aid, and if you know anything about me at this point, you know that I absolutely love to verify things to see how well they actually work. I was able to run repeated tests of a known dosage amount of water inside of the Redux test chamber and see if that amount was different from the amount that the moisture reading gave me. And what I can say is the moisture measurement was not very accurate at the beginning. But when I shared this with the Redux team that is based in Indiana, they determined that we actually needed to calibrate the system for out here in Arizona. And once we were able to do that, we've been able to get within 10% of a moisture reading, which is extremely accurate when you're talking about these incredibly small amounts of water. Basically, this means I can measure almost exactly how much water is being pulled out of a hearing aid. And why is this important? Well, if I have an individual who has not jumped in a pool and who has not jumped in the shower, and they come in with their hearing aids for a regular cleaning check, I can actually see if they are at risk for moisture damage inside of their hearing aids just by wearing their hearing aids day in and day out. When I'm armed with that information, I can make a better recommendation on how often they should come back into my clinic for professional moisture removal and also help me understand if they need to have a more heavy duty dehydration system at home to use every night with their hearing aids. Okay, saving hearing aids from water damage is incredibly gratifying. However, the Redux system also has changed the way that I perform regular clean and check visits. Not only do they let me measure the amount of moisture that is being removed from a set of hearing aids, but it actually makes the cleaning of a hearing aid significantly easier and better as well. Now, after performing a listening check on a set of hearing devices, the first thing I do is stick them into the Redux dehydrator. This ensures that all the moisture is pulled out of a hearing aid and all the moisture that might be stuck in the debris of the hearing aid is pulled out as well, which significantly improves my ability to clean out a hearing device when they're in for a routine clean and check. Not to mention, Redux has data that shows that moisture was removed from 98% of hearing aids, that 50% of dead hearing aids were revived, 83% of weak hearing aids were improved in performance, and even 80% of hearing aids that were functioning normally improved performance following a redux dehydration cycle. I'm even able to give a printed report to each one of my patients showing them exactly how much moisture was removed from their hearing aids to let them know how good they've been about keeping moisture out of their devices in between their clean and check visits. As excited as I am about the Redux system and how it changes the landscape of performing care and maintenance and moisture removal with a set of hearing aids, there are a few things that I'm not super excited about. One of them is, is that it takes at least 12 minutes to run a set of hearing aids through an entire dehydration cycle. And in my estimation, for most hearing aids that have not been directly submerged into water, this is way too much time than is necessary. However, after mentioning this issue to Redux, they start working on a shorter drying cycle for devices that have not been directly submerged into water. This way I can more efficiently incorporate a dehydration session inside of a routine clean and check visit. Because remember, even if you don't have a direct issue with hearing aids being submerged in water, the Redux system can actually improve the way that a hearing aid is performing. The only other issue that I can see with this Redux system is that you can't purchase one yourself and keep it at your home. So if you jump into a pool or you jump in the shower, you have to find a hearing care professional that has a Redux system in their office and get in to see them as soon as possible. However, these two issues aside, it would be nearly impossible for me to function inside of my clinic without the Redux at this point. I've already saved several hearing aids from having to go back into a manufacturer for repair, which ultimately saves my patients time without their hearing aids, and at the end of the day, it saves them money as well. 
So whether you perspire a lot, or you have an unfortunate accident where you accidentally submerge your hearing aids into water, or if you just want to keep your hearing aids performing at their absolute best, finding a hearing care provider that has the Redux Professional Hearing Aid Dehydration System is your best bet, because otherwise you're just going to have to stick your hearing aids in rice. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.